But wait a minute now, we're in the middle of a pandemic and the economy is collapsing. Uh, or maybe that's a little bit, but it has the potential to collapse. And unemployment is growing rapidly. Small businesses are being wiped out. And um, many jobs, and most people are employed, I think, by small businesses around the country. Massive unemployment. So, you know, dude, Michael asked me the other day, yesterday, he said, if the Communist Party, you know, if y'all had a, a big stake in the Congress or majority, what would you do? Tomorrow, what program would you put on the table for addressing the crisis? I thought it was a good question, you know? Excellent question. So um, what, what will we do, guys? I mean, what would, what, Michael? I think we could start with the people's bailout, bailing out people, you know, what they owe, freezing rent, you know, helping the people before we bail out these big businesses and airlines, you know, these million dollars. All right, let's, let's take that issue of freezing rent. But what if you don't have any money to pay your rent, Scott? Now, I heard that you were opposed to the universal basic income. So I want to ask you if maybe I heard you wrong, but if you are, then what do you do? Michael says freeze the rent, and I agree with that. But a lot of people, look, they ain't got no money. They got $1,200. You know, uh, that's like, part of one month's rent in New York City. Yeah, so the, I think there should be, um, first of all, in the immediate context of the crisis, um, not just a freeze on, well, I guess a freeze on rent in the sense of um, that there is no rent that will ever be collected for the duration of this crisis um, from people. Um, you moratorium. Know, yeah, a moratorium on, on the collection of rent, and that includes a moratorium on uh, mortgages. It would have uh, on mortgage payments. It would have to. Mm -hmm. because, you know, there are people who who are landlords, and you know, yes, landlords make money uh, by owning and not by by working. But um, if you want to make this a reality, uh, you know, moratorium on mortgage payments as well. Um, so the landlords can't use the excuse, "Oh, but I have a mortgage payment to make. You know, I need the rent." Uh, um, okay. And then in the longer uh, perspective, we would have to look at things like um, a, a right to housing. And um, for example, in Cuba- uh, You are evading my question. I want to know if people don't have no money, how are they going to pay the rent? By not having rent. So- yeah. are they you got, to the Okay, well, how, how will they, let's say they don't have to pay no rent, all right, moratorium. Right? How are they going to pay the electricity? How are they going to eat? So, How are they going to go to the gas station and buy gas? Are you asking about the twelve hundred dollars uh, stimulus check? No, I'm I'm saying that if people not. are unemployed and don't have any money and are starving, what should we do? Yes, we should we should absolutely um, expand and extend unemployment even more than has been done. We should give people not just one round of this stimulus check, but but several. Um, uh, for the duration uh, of the crisis. So you are in favor of a universal basic income. No, no, because a universal basic income is the premise is that you give people like on an ongoing basis, regardless of what's happening in capitalism, a, um, a monthly payment. And that sounds great, but it, what it is in effect, is a policy dreamed up by libertarians um, to gut the to gut social programs. Even Yang, who brought it forth, um, said that um, people currently receiving benefits would uh, choose between the $1,000 a month and their current benefits package. Uh, but that was before the crisis. And doesn't the demand for relief have to adjust itself to the crisis? And isn't it the case that the concept of austerity of neoliberal cutbacks, even before the crisis, was by most in the West, even in broader public opinion, poo-pooed, say that don't work no more. We got to try something different. That's very true. And, 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 but I think UBI, 
is one of the things that, that the, the capitalists came up with to try and avoid the real solution, which is not giving people um, money, but ensuring that people have the services that they need for a living. Make sure that people have food, make sure they have uh, a place to live, make sure they have medical care and education. Instead of giving people a check, eliminate the number of things that they depend on money for. Um, I said, give them a check while they can't work, because people cannot work now. Sending them back to work is, might be a death sentence. Give everybody a check now, Michael. And then let's do one more thing. Let's cancel debt. All debt, student debt, personal debt, a debt jubilee. Absolutely. You know? That's the only way out of this crisis. You know, Bernie and the progressives in Congress, they propose $2,000 a month mm. until the crisis is over. Plus, you know, for giving debt, at least $35,000. I that's know that's what, what I'm talking about. about. And it should be, it should be, it should be all, um, or almost all debt, including student <laughs> loans, credit cards, um, uh, mortgages on first residences in many cases. Um, and, and it could be termed in fact, uh, a sort of repayment of all of the uh, wealth and opportunities that the working class has lost um, through tax cuts to the rich over the past 40 years. You know, during the days of the early days of the Russian Revolution, Lenin asked the question, can we advance if we fear to advance towards socialism? And then the answer, was no, and today the answer is no. Um, that's my opinion, and I'm sticking to it. I don't care what nobody says.